Before they know it, there's a thorn in their flesh. A thorn is painful when it goes in your flesh. It doesn't matter whether it's in the entry point of the flesh. Woo! It does not matter how deep it goes. But the deeper the thorn goes in your flesh, the more the pain you feel. I want to speak to people tonight who say, I feel like there's a thorn in my flesh. I was walking, I was happy. All of a sudden, there was pain in my life. Hallelujah. I was celebrating, there was joy. All of a sudden, there was pain in my life. In January, I was excited about life. I had plans, and I said, January, I'm going to achieve this. February, I'm going to achieve this. But before I knew it, my life was upside down. How deep is the thorn in your flesh? How deep is the thorn in your flesh? Some of you tonight, you are in the entry point where you feel the pain. Some of you are so deep that you don't know or you cannot even turn left and right. Some of you, there's only one thorn in your flesh. Some of you, there's many thorns in your body and you don't know, even, you cannot even walk anymore. You cannot even sit anymore. Woo! Follow me tonight, I'm going somewhere. The thorns are the challenges of lives. All of a sudden, there's thorns all over your life. Challenges of life. The sicknesses of life. All of a sudden, you are very happy and there's a thorn in your life of sickness and diseases. Somebody says, January, I was so happy, but all of a sudden, I was deep in depth. There's a thorn in my flesh. Somebody says, I was so happy. My life was full of joy and celebrations. And all of a sudden, I was full of anger. And I was bitter at everything. And bitter at everyone. And now I don't have joy in my life. There's a thorn in my flesh. Somebody says, I used to be appreciated. I used to be accepted. But all of a sudden, I'm hated by everybody. There's a thorn in my flesh. Somebody says, I used to pray and I was conquering spirits. But all of a sudden, the spiritual attacks and I've been conquered. There's a thorn in my flesh. Follow me tonight, I'm going somewhere. It says, we used to be united in my family. We used to be together. But all of a sudden, my family is scattered. There's thorns in our, in our fleshes. We don't know where to look. We never used to experience this pain. But all of a sudden, there's pain all over our body. Somebody says, I used to have a job. I had plans. I wanted to build. I had a future. But all of a sudden, I lost my job. And there was a thorn that was in my flesh. Somebody says, I had dignity. People used to respect me. But all of a sudden, whoo, I'm being falsely accused by people. I'm being called by names. I try to explain myself. And no one wants to listen to me anymore. There's a thorn in my flesh. I want to speak to somebody tonight. Who says, I used to be confident. I can climb the highest mountains. But all of a sudden, my life is full of fear. When I wake up, there's fear. When I want to go left, there's fear. When I think about my dreams, there's fear. I don't know where to go now. There's fear for the future. There's fear for the past. And there's fear for the unknowns. I don't even have confidence to get up anymore. My life is full of fear. Fun in my flesh. 
Somebody says, when I wake up, I'm worried. When I walk around, I feel the spirit of worry. Some of you don't even know what is happening, but there's worry all over your life. When the flesh comes in your, your flesh, you feel the pain and it's real. You scream, you look for help. Sometimes there's nobody even to help. Woo! The pain is real. Somebody says, I used to have confidence, but all of a sudden, I have low self-esteem. I don't believe that I can do it again. I don't believe that I can get up again. Low self-esteem. I hide every time I'm in the midst of people. I don't know if I'll ever get up again. I want to address the thorns that are in the flesh. Some people, they're so deep that you cannot remove them by the hands. All that is needed is an operation. Woo. I want to speak to you and say, a thorn is something that will come unexpected in your life. It's something that you never thought that it can happen in your life. You thought that you can never be in these situations ever. You thought that this thing will never happen in your family. Woo. You thought that not me. Somebody's looking at me and watching this channel tonight and is saying, why me God, why me God, and why me God. I want to speak to you tonight that God is real. The spirit of discouragement is a thorn to many people, especially during this time of COVID-19 and where people are challenged left, right, and center. All of a sudden, there's a thorn that is in your flesh. It is like somebody who was running and all of a sudden they are trapped. And all of a sudden, you are crying with a loud voice for help. Mm. And all of a sudden, you are sick and you need a healer. Ooh. All of a sudden, you are worried and you need a comforter. A thorn that is in the flesh. As hopeless as you may be, you may be in pain tonight, but God wants to talk to somebody. 2 Corinthians verse 12 Hallelujah Jesus 2 Corinthians 12 from verse 5 Apostle Paul is speaking these words He says this of such and one will I glory, yet of myself, I will not glory, but in my own infirmities. Six, for though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. Seven. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations. There was given to me a thorn in the flesh. The messenger of Satan to buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. Eight. For this thing I besought the Lord three times. He said in other words I called God three times. That I might depart from this pain. Hallelujah. Nine, and he said to me, he says, the Lord said to me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in thy weakness. Woo. Most deadly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity or my troubles, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Mm, Ten, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress, 
for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul was speaking these words in pain. He says, I know that you clapped hands for me. Hallelujah. He says, I know you call me the greatest prophet. I know you saw me preach. I know you saw me encourage people yesterday. I know you saw me going house to house, helping the poor and the needy. I know you saw me encouraging those that were down and were cast out. But today, it is happening in my house. Paul says, you know what? I know you're going to praise me for what I did yesterday. But today, there's a thorn that is in my flesh. There are times as great as we are. That we need a savior. Hallelujah. There are times as great as we are. That we need a healer. Hallelujah. I know you preach many sermons. I know you pray for the sick and the recovered. But there are times in life. Um, where you must look up. There are times in life. Um, where you need a savior too. Paul says I know you know me as a great man of God. Woo. But there's a thorn that is in my flesh. He says, I feel tormented. He said, I've learned one thing for sure. He said, as I was going and encouraging people, he says, every time when people were clapping hands for me, he said, and sometimes I was in trouble. And he says, I've learned one thing, that when I was in the lowest of the lowest, that is where I got my strength more than when I was happy and I was rejoicing. I want to speak to somebody tonight. Uh, say, where you are weak, uh, God is strong. Hallelujah. Where you are weak, God is strong. Paul says, I've learned one thing for sure. That it is in my troubles uh, that I will learn the power of God. Woo! He says, it is in my troubles. Uh, it is in my persecutions. Uh, that I will learn the saving power, the miracle hand of Jehovah. Paul says, I've learned one thing for sure, that I will never glory on my flesh, that I will never praise myself again. He says, I will never again rejoice over my strength. For now I know that I'm a human being, that now I know I've got blood and I feel pain. Now I know when the Bible says that it's not by might, not by power, but it's by my spirit that these mountains are moved. Hallelujah. I want to speak to somebody who thought that they're going to move the mountains through their wisdom, through their strength, through their company, through their connections. Paul says, I've learned one thing for sure. That when your back is against the wall, that you need a savior. Hallelujah. He says, I've learned that it was not in my victories that I learned how to conquer. He said, it was through the tough times, the poverty, the sickness and diseases. When people were backbiting me at work, when I thought that I'm nobody and people say that I'm not good looking. When people say that I'm from a poor family and we will never make it. Woo. Paul says, when I was sleeping and there was no food in the house, he says, then I started to remember that the lesson was beginning and it was continuing. He said, I did not learn to conquer when I was eating seven colors. Many people can praise God when they're in abundance. But there are few people who can still say you are God in lack and in poverty or in sickness or in defeat. Hallelujah. I want to speak to somebody tonight that God is God of all seasons. Hallelujah. He's God of all seasons. It may go up, it's still the same. It may go down, life is still the same. People can reject you, he's still there. You can curse this God and say, I hate you. You love me. He will still be there. 
Paul says, from today, I've learned what Jesus says to the disciples. When they were running and say, Master, we prayed, we cast out demons. And they were happy, saying that demons are afraid of us. And the Lord said these words, do not be happy that demons are afraid of you. But rejoice, because your names are in the book of life. That is the lesson of life. That the spirit of pride is the beginning of the downfall of men. Every time that you are in victory, it is every time that you must learn that is the point whereby you must go down even more. Every time when you are in abundance, it is the time where that you must learn that you need to go down more. Every time when you conquer, it is the time that you need to gauge and prepare you. The Bible says that when David was from battle and he was conquerors and he was celebrating, the Bible says when he entered into the camp, he found that the enemy has stolen the children, the women. There was defeat. Every time when God speaks a word of prophecy, there's always storms that goes with it. I want to speak to people to say, it does not matter the thorns that can surround your life. Hallelujah. One thing that you know, Paul says, I know. I've seen him yesterday. Paul was speaking in confidence. He was in trouble, but he was still encouraging people, saying, don't praise me as a preacher. Don't praise me as a pastor. I'm a human being. I've learned one thing for sure during lockdown that God is God and I'm not God. Hallelujah. I want to speak to somebody. God has been using you. God has been using you all over. And you thought at some point that it is your power, your strength and your mind. And God took you back to the drawing board and said, my son or my daughter, I want to teach you something. That I'm God. I am God. In me, you live. In me, you move. In me, you have your strength. Hallelujah. Paul says, as great preacher as I am, I find myself in a point where I call the Lord three times. Hallelujah. The man was in pain and fall in the flesh. He said, you know what? I know you'll say my pastor was crying. He said, I will not even be embarrassed. People will say, you know what? You used to help me, but today I must help you. Paul says, you can talk about me. I need a savior. Hallelujah. You can talk about me. I need a savior. I don't know who I'm speaking to tonight. I need a savior. I take out everything. My pride dies tonight. I need a savior. He says, a number of new beginnings. Three times he said, I call on the name of the Lord in pain. He said, Jesus. And people were laughing and saying, it is over with the church. He said, Jesus. And people said, the devil thought that lockdown will lock the church down. And there will never be opportunity for you. Paul says, this God is a God who moves mountains. He says, I can lose my job, but I know that the blessings are in me. I'm blessed in case, he says, I can lose everything, but it shall be restored, hallelujah. He said, it is in me, this thing is flowing in the inside. It's God who restores. He said, Jesus, and he says, it's a God who during the Old Testament, who will make sure that the walls of Jericho will fall. Woo! He says, there's a God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. He says, it's a God who says, if I stand on a solid foundation, the storms of life will come and I shall remain standing. Paul was speaking to people, but at the same time, he was speaking to himself. And God began to speak to Paul. I want to speak the word, this word to somebody tonight. What, whatever is happening in your life, it doesn't matter whether the thorn is in the entry point in your flesh or is deep in your flesh. 
The Lord says, my grace is sufficient. My grace is sufficient. I want to prophesy to somebody tonight. You will make it. You will make it. Stop starting to count about the society, your burial plans, your defeat, and mournings, and groanings, and depressions. And then you are getting dimmer and darker and going down. Woo. The Lord says tonight, my grace is sufficient. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. Everyone on the sound of my voice, receive the upliftment of the Lord. He's God who breaks the chains. It will break in the spirit and you'll experience it in the flesh. Receive the power of God, the yoke breaking God. Every chain, let it break. Every chain, let it break. My grace. In other words, even if you, you didn't deserve it, I will come your way. There's a state of emergency. My grace. Somebody says, God, I know you'll save others, but I don't deserve your saving power. My grace is sufficient. It shall never lose its power. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It shall never lose its power. The church can say that the power of God is dead. But God says, I will raise the rocks to worship me even when you are crying. Hallelujah. Let us get up, get up, get up, get up. Let us get up, get up, get up. Let us get up with pain. Let us get up with our pain. Let us walk with those thorns. Let us get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. The Bible says, Moses says this way. When people were beaten by snakes and they were all over lying on the ground, he says, everyone who's got little strength who can raise their head and look at the serpent on the pole. He says, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. He says, the power of God is available. The power of God is available. He says, everyone who can say, Jesus. Paul says, I found myself as a great man of God, as a great counselor, as a great teacher, as a good person. I had to call the name of the Lord three times. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm reminded of a man who was sick and next to the pool. He says, Jesus, people say you're making noise. This is the time to forget about your neighbors and begin to look to your God and remember that your God is able. This is the time to say that my God, you are able. My God, you are able. My God, you are able. I saw you yesterday. The Bible says that uh, they shall overcome him uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, and their testimonies. Somebody say, I've got a testimony. I could have died yesterday. But I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. The same God will do it again. 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 I see somebody getting up with a pain in your body. It must go, it must go, it must go, it must go. It must go, it must go, it must go. The pain must go, must go, must go. Woo! He says, my strength is made perfect in your weakness. God is speaking to you tonight and say, remember this. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. And somebody says, when I'm weak, I cannot make it. If I don't have money, I cannot make it. When I'm sick and I cannot pray anymore, I cannot get up. 
God says this is your problem. You think that you are me. You are not me, I am God. My ways are higher than your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. He says my strength is made more powerful in your weakness. Hallelujah. I will shout wherever I am if I was you. God says this verse tonight. I will show up in your weakness. I will show up when you are about to fall. I will show up. Even when you are saying there's no God anymore, I will show up. Even when you are cursing me, I will show up. Even when you are crying and nobody sees you, I will show up. For when the thought is in the flesh, all that you hear is pain. Pain, love, breath, and center. My friend is made perfect. Hallelujah. Paul says, after everything, now I have learned one thing. That I will rejoice. Woo. It was not easy for him to say this. He said, now I've learned that in my trouble, in my sickness, in my challenges, I will rejoice. He says, when I'm having a party, when everything is going fine, he says, now I've learned that the greatest time of my life woo, is in challenges. The greater the problem, the greater the breakthrough. I want to speak to somebody tonight. Somebody say, why me, why me, why me, why me? The greater the storm, the greater the breakthrough. Why me, why me, why me, Lord? Why my family, Lord? Why me in 2020? Why me, why me, why me? A thousand days to God. It's like one day is always on time. God is always on time. I'm going to speak to faith people tonight. You've been listening to many sermons of negative people. Every time thorns of red stepping you behind your back. God says tonight, forget about people's words. There's a greater voice. The voice that thunders in your spirit. The voice that thunders in your flesh. God says, listen to the voice that comes with thunder. For Paul says, now I know that when I'm weak, I am strong. Somebody says, from today, I will not complain. Hallelujah. From today, I will not give up. From today, I will stand up and begin to walk. I will not wait for my breakthrough, but my breakthrough will get me on the way. I want to speak to faith people tonight and say, my God is bigger. My God is greater. My God is deeper than the deepest level. If you go to the highest mountains, you will find my God. You go to the deepest of the deepest, you will find my God. You go to the east, the west, all over the world. He is the omnipresent God. Listen to this. Begin to praise his God and say, thank God. Thank God that it does not matter the pain. I will get up with the thorns. For I know one thing, that the pain is pushing me to my destiny. Hallelujah. The pain is pushing you to your destiny. Woo! And Jesus says, at Lazarus' death, this one is not the one that leads to death, but it is for the glory of the Lord. I want to speak to somebody tonight. This is for the glory of the Lord. God will show up. This is for the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. I speak the glory of the Lord all over. At your workplace. Upon your CVs. Upon your business. Upon your family. Upon the ministries. Upon the world. Wherever you are watching. The glory of the Lord. When the glory of God appears. What was impossible. Becomes possible. The things that we are struggling with. We find ourselves on the other side. We find ourselves on the other side. We find ourselves on the other side of Jordan. We find ourselves on the other side of the Red Sea. I don't know who I'm speaking to, 
but you need to close your physical eyes and begin to see in the spirit and say, here I am, Lord. Show me your power. Lord, show me your power. Matthew 27, 29. I conclude by this scripture. Matthew 27, 29. It says, and, and when they had brought a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and they bowed on their knees before him saying, Hail King of the Jews. Jesus was on the way to the cross and they took a crown of thorns and they thought that they were mocking him and they went and put it on his head and the thorns went in his flesh there were thorns all over his flesh he was feeling the pain and blood was coming down I want to speak to somebody and say these words tonight when the enemy thought when they were busy celebrating woo, they were crowning him as a king hallelujah I want to say the kingship anointing is still upon you even when the thorns were upon his flesh and they were mocking him saying that he's claiming he said that he's a king of the Jews they were prophesying they were declaring they were speaking the things of the spirit I want to say to you that pain will not kill you there's a shifting there's a shifting there's a shifting there's a hell king they were completing and fulfilling the scriptures I say the kingship anointing is upon you walk with those thorns praise the Lord with those thorns begin to say my promotion is coming another level of glory Woo! another level of anointing another level of breakthroughs Woo! from one level of glory to another it will not pass you I want to conclude by this declaration upon your life wherever you are begin to stand and and agree with me tonight allow me to speak and prophesy upon your life tonight let us walk together out of the chains tonight let us march together to victory and say bye bye pain and say this one shall bring maturity we shall rejoice over our storms we shall rejoice let us declare tonight mm. agree with me tonight and say every thorn in my life shall not lead to death but it shall be for the glory of the Lord begin to speak again every thorn in my life prophesy upon your life it does not matter what kind of thorn it shall lead to the glory of the Lord I refuse to fall I may bend but I shall not fall I know too much to give up I know too much to give up I know too much to give up Woo. number two agree with me today that the grace of God shall be upon you every day you wake up the grace of God you shall receive things that you didn't deserve the grace of God upon you begin to declare today and say the strength of God's strength shall be seen in my weaknesses the strength of the Lord the strength of the Lord upon my children the strength of the Lord upon my workplace people were saying that uh, he used to be great uh, but now he's at the lowest of the lowest uh, the strength of the Lord upon you in your family now the prayers were not coming together things were not making sense uh, Paul says uh, as great preacher as I am I had to call the name of the Lord three times. The strength of the Lord in your weakness. The strength of the Lord. Receive it. I speak restoration upon you. Receive the restoration of God. You may not feel it in your body. Receive it in the spirit. You may not see tomorrow. But it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Get up, get up, get up. 
Hey, pain must not change your mind. Pain must not stop you to dream. Your vision must come back tonight. Begin to dream. See that house, see that car, see that career, see that ministry. Hey, don't see that grave again. now. Don't say, I'm going down again. Don't see that grave. Hey, see your destiny. See revival all over. See yourself preaching again. See yourself praying again. See yourself worshiping again. Hey, get ready for the fire of the Lord. It's going to hit you tonight. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. The fire of the Lord. Kinship anointing. Kinship anointing. Kinship anointing. Don't look at your bank account. Don't look at whatever you have. Receive it in the spirit. Listen to this. Great men of men of great men of God. Great women of God know this. It is not what you see in the flesh. It's what you see in the spirit. And you speak it. And you speak it. And you speak it. Until you see it. Until you touch it. It is what you see in the spirit. It is what you see in the spirit. See your healing. See your breakthroughs. See your ministry. Shakara is saying tonight. Get up. The thorns in your flesh cannot kill you. Rejoice in your infirmity. Rejoice in your storms. Rejoice in your challenges. Shakara is saying tonight. Arise. 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 Arise, woman of God. Arise, child of God. Arise, my sister. Arise, my brother. Wherever you may be, pain must go. The thorn in the flesh. It brings elevation. 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 Get up. Receive it in the spirit. Touch it in the spirit. And walk. Speak. Speak. Say it's mine. It's mine, my healing. My breakthrough is mine. COVID-19 will not kill me. I'm rising. COVID-19 will not bring my birth certificate. I'm arising. I was about to give up. I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. COVID-19 will not kill me. God wants to use me. God wants to use me. God wants to use me. God still wants to use me. I'm a man of God. I'm a woman of God. God still wants to use me. For joining us, Shakana Tabernacle, Spiritual Home for All Nations. We thank God for speaking to you tonight. It is not over. We want to speak to someone tonight. We say, I want to know this Jesus. I want to see his power. I want to get out of the dead bed of sickness and disease. I'm tired of quitting. I'm tired of living, listening to negative people. I've heard the sermon today and I heard that the word of God is life. I felt the spirit of God moving me. I heard the fresh word of God and I feel that the Bible is real. I was questioning God saying there's no salvation. There's no God. 
But I felt something in my spirit. There was a cry saying that you are bigger than this. There was a voice in me saying that you need God. Wherever you are, raise your hand and begin to accept Jesus Christ. He's alive. He's real. That's why every pastor will go when they bury people and they begin to see them going down and people crying all over and they learn one thing that we will not hear and hear that this life will come to an end but there's a greater life and a higher life follow me with this prayer say Lord Jesus I accept you tonight as my Lord and my Savior come into my life be my Lord and be my Savior I'm coming back home Lord I know you created me I'm not a murderer Lord I'm not a rapist Lord I'm not a killer Lord Lord I'm not a thief Lord I'm not the one who makes people to fight Lord you call me to be a peacemaker you call me to be an evangelist a counselor a teacher a prophet Lord you call me to be a good husband a good wife a good sister, a good son, a good daughter. Lord, from today, I accept you. And I say, Lord, I'm coming out of things that I follow in my life. And I surrender my life to you. Be my Lord and be my Savior. I confess with my mouth. And I believe with all my heart that you, Lord Jesus, you are the Lord. Begin to clap hands wherever you are. And shout and say, I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm gonna go to heaven when I die. I will pray and call the name of Jesus. And God will hear my prayers from today. Be blessed. Oh Lord, you are worthy to be blessed. Hey, oh, side God. Come on. 